All right, everyone, open up to chapter 12, section 2. We're going to be reading about car meets. All right, so as you guys just saw, we are not working on any of the cars today as it is pouring rain outside and it is really, really wet. So instead of we're gonna be talking about how you guys can join your local car community, there's actually a question that we've been getting a lot on JDM Icon because I guess a lot of you guys haven't been to a car meet yet or you guys wanna join your car community but you don't exactly know how to or you don't really have a lot of friends that are into cars but you wanna get into cars so don't worry about it. I got you. I've been in that situation before and it's not easy so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my guide to car meets. So to start things off, there are a lot of different types of car meets, from JDM tuners, lifted trucks, muscle cars, or even car meets that welcome all types of makes and models of cars into their car meet. Be sure to pick the right car meet that suits your build and you. So if you show up in a stance on the fit at a car meet mainly directed for muscle cars, don't expect for the best experience or outcome. Or let's just say you don't even have a build and you just want to experience a car meet and you want to make some friends that actually like cars. So although car meets are about cars, you don't necessarily have to have a car to appreciate cars as much as everyone else. So is it okay to park outside the car meet and walk in? Yes, just don't be that guy that pulls up looking like normal traffic because that isn't a good way to make a good first impression. So speaking of first impressions, everyone has one, including your car. So you don't have to be fully built, slammed, track ready, or even have a single modified part on your car. Because a lot of people like myself can appreciate a clean, well taken care of stock car. A good example of this is to clean your car. Now you don't have to exactly detail the whole car and make sure there's no speck of dust or dirt on your car. If you have time, that's always a better option. It's better to show up late in a clean car than to show up on time in a dirty car and, and have everyone think that you don't care about your car that much and that's just not a good time especially if it's your first car meet. Now again you don't necessarily have to detail your whole car but think about it this way it's like putting deodorant on but for your car. In a way it's kind of hygienic and that brings us off to our third point. So now that your car is all cleaned up, detailed, washed, whatever you did to it, now don't look at this as a date or a formal dinner with your boss. It's a social gathering. You want to show everyone your best self. I know with the pandemic going on right now, there are a lot of restrictions in many places. Let's just say you're lucky enough to be in a place where there isn't a lot of restrictions and you guys are still allowed to have car meets. Most of the time, you have to take the first step to meet someone. For example, if you see a car that you like and there's a group of people standing beside it, most of the time, the owner of that car is gonna be by their car, talking to their friends about their car because it is a car meet. Walk up to the car, take a look at it and simply ask them, whose car is this? And most of the time, the owner's gonna be really close to their car and ask him questions, introduce yourself, ask him questions about the car and don't be shy to tell him that it's that you're new to the car scene and it's your first car meet. The people in the car scene are really awesome, they're helpful and they're really welcoming when it comes to new people joining the car scene. Our fourth point is to be yourself and don't be a know-it-all. Although it's really easy to read up on cars, research specs, 0 to 60 times and top speeds, no one likes it when there's a new guy and he acts like he knows everything. Most of the time we can see right through it. You don't magically turn into Dominic Toretto or Brian O'Connor when you're at a car meet. Be yourself, make friends, build relationships because these people that you meet might be the people that help you install your first aftermarket turbo kit, maybe get you into drifting or even help you pick up your 10th project car. You'll be amazed when you realize in a few years when you look back and realize all the friends you currently hang out with, you all met through cars. A good example of this is my friend Kevin. I met him, I think, two, three years ago at a car meet and six months into our friendship, we already went on a road trip to the States for a car show. If you wanna check out that video, click over here because it was a lot of fun. At the time, he just had his STI and I had my Evo. And although our cars are looked upon as rivals, 
we became pretty good friends despite that our cars, that everyone else thought that our cars would be like enemy cars in a sense. And with the people you meet along the way, you'll be surprised what other things you guys have in common. Whether you guys are into anime, Call of Duty, gaming, music, whatever, in most cases you guys are gonna have more than one thing in common. And it's not just cars. And our fifth and final point for this video is keep showing up. Now, you may not have the best first experience when it comes to car meets, but keep showing up and I promise it's gonna get better because honestly, I don't even remember my first car meet because it was such a long time ago. After a while, you start to lose track of how many car meets you've been to. Keep showing up, keep meeting people, don't be a douchebag, and to be honest, you're gonna do just fine. Even if you don't have a car to start with, it's always good to meet people who are into cars that can point you in the right direction to start your first build. So now that the video is over, I hope you guys enjoyed it and it got you guys more pumped to go into a car meet. You can learn a lot of things online, you can read things, you can watch videos on cars, but going out there and experiencing it yourself is a whole new world, it's a whole different experience. And I promise you guys, once you get out of your comfort zone and go to your first car meet, make your first few car friends and go out for your first cruise, you guys are going to have such a good time, you guys are going to thank me later. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.